How's it going everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a package I got from AppMex. I took advantage of a couple deals they had. Actually, I need to mention somebody in this video. Where did it go? Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I'm going to mention the, the Silver Degen Club on Reddit. This purchase uh, was helped out by them. One of the guys in there. Let me see if I can figure out where to get to the Silver Degen Club. Darn it. Please hold while I figure out what I'm doing. So one of the members on there um, posted up a deal. It was an app only deal for uh, one gram gold bar from AppMex Random. I'm trying to find his post. It was one gram random um, buyback or whatever from uh, AppMex. So you get a gram of gold at spot price, which that's the cheapest possible gold you can buy. You can't get it cheaper unless you're taking advantage of something um, or using like the weird Costco loopholes where you use a rewards card and and their uh, executive membership. But it was uh, SOC Monkey. He was the user that posted up the deal and it, it was a kind of a little trick to get it because when he first posted the deal, I was like, well, it doesn't show up for me. Um, and so what the deal was, you, you have to have the AppMex app and then you gotta, uh, you gotta click the link to the deal and then when or you have to use your phone so when you click the link to the deal using your phone down at the bottom of your phone if you're using like an iPhone or an Android it'll say this is available on the app do you want to just open the app and do this task and then you just click yes um, and then it'll take you right to the uh, gram of gold at spot deal and you, you, you're allowed one. And I, so I did this before, but it was a different deal. It was the uh, February 29th, the Leap Day deal. So this will be my second gram of gold at spot. And of course you can't get the free shipping um, because it, it was, wasn't, wasn't enough to meet the uh, $200 threshold to get free shipping. So you had to add some other stuff in there. So let's see what I got. First of all, I, this is what I thought it was going to be. It's going to be one of the Valcambi uh, combi bars. So it's a tiny, tiny gram of gold. But this is not going to focus. There we go. One gram of gold. This was uh, somebody probably sold it to them. And on the back, there was. This was a, either a 50 or a 100 gram combi bar that this came off of. So that's the last digit of the uh, total weight of the combi bar and then the G there. So I figured it was going to be one of these and that's fine. This is, uh, how much is this worth? Well, it's worth more than what I paid for it. So I've already, this is already worth more than I bought it for. Even at melt, even at spot price, at melt value. So if I just learned how to use a camera to make it focus, that would be handy. But that's not going to happen, is it? Let me, there, focus. Please, please focus. It's not going to. All right, well, there you go. So for this, I paid $73.39. And right now, the spot price is like $22.48 or something like that. Divided by 31.1 grams to a troy ounce, 72. So actually, I paid a dollar more than what melt is right now. So I don't know why that is. That's weird. I thought spot price was less, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was a little bit higher. Maybe it bounced higher when I pulled the trigger. So this wasn't enough to get the free shipping. So put that there. So it can't focus properly. They also had uh, 
one ounce American Silver Eagles at spot. So you get two of these. They're the random date ones. There's one of them. And then the other one. I'm curious, they're probably both the same date. Nope, this is a 2011. 2011 and a 2015. No, 2016. Jeez, my eyes are bad. 2011, 2016. At spot. So, bam. I'm buying precious metals at spot. I'm liking it. Still wasn't enough to get over the threshold for free shipping. And so they had a 5-ounce silver bar secondary market um, for $149. So... I had to get that, and this is the bar that I got. Let's see what it is. All right, Ten Commandments. Who makes this bar? I've been just loving five-ounce bars lately. It's just a really cool size, and I think I was always a big fan of ten-ounce bars. I always thought that ten ounces is the way to go. That's what you need to get. It's the perfect size for weight and uh Weight and I guess divisibility. I mean, you can you don't have to cash out of a hundred ounce bar with a ten ounce bar, and you can it's easier to store ten ounce bars over one ounces. But always, you know, one ounces are more expensive. One ounce rounds and coins. I can't find. Oh, it's nine finds mint. There we go. Down here, there's a nine in a circle. So this would be Nine Fine Mint. So I think this is my first Nine Fine Mint product. I've never had. They have really cool poured bars there, and they put them in these uh, boxes. So it's kind of like Germanium Mint does, but but different. It's the same, but different. Same, same, but different. Let me know if you know what movie that's from. So this this side is really cool looking. Stained glass window. I don't know if there's any significance to that. Or if it's just a generic stained glass window. Then on the side, we got the uh, Ten Commandments. So that's another five ounce bar. I've been on this five ounce bar kick. Oh, and if you want to see a new five ounce five ounce bar that just got released, I ordered uh, a couple of the first mining, not nah, first mining, first minting uh, five ounce bars. It's a company that's owned by First Majestic Silver Corporation. And so I've got those coming, and uh, subscribe to this channel, and you'll get to see those unboxed here on this channel. Oh, and so, what am I doing? I am a month ahead, basically, on the Fractional Gold Fiesta. So, I already had my April one grammar that I got last month because of a that leap day sale so I get to add another one of another one of these another Valcambi to the list I gotta get a different ink filler for this pen this one sucks Valcambi app mix and this was 7339 so I got the other I got to place orders for all these because it's um, April 1st right now April Fool's Day hey I forgot so these ones I gotta get filled up then I'll be done with April and then uh, next month we'll start working on May and when I'm done we're gonna add up the price of all these and see how it compares to if you just saved your money and bought a one ounce gold coin instead of buying fractional and what's what's really going to be weird in this dynamic is the the rapid increase in spot price for gold um, so now right now in this environment stacking fractional is almost like a no-brainer all the all the fractional I bought like over the last three months is now worth more so that ate up the premium so if I was saving money, cash dollars, by the time I save enough to get an ounce of gold, those fractionals will be worth more. So it, it'll be a, weird. We'll, I'll just have to do the numbers. When, when it's all done, we'll uh, get the calculator out and figure out 
for each size. So I'm doing the five gram uh, gold bar, one gram gold bar, one quarter ounce gold, and one tenth ounce gold. And so each one of those will be able to break it out per category. I'll probably have to do a separate video for each because I don't like videos going like 20 minutes. So, and this one's already long enough. I gotta hurry up because you've got stuff to do and play pranks on people. Anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Obey the Ten Commandments. Oh, you're going to be uh, getting hot under the collar. Not in a good way. Have a great day, you guys. See you in the next video.